Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing an assembly video for your Swifty Zero. For the assembly you're going to need something to prop the scooter on. Everybody has a number of books at home, so two books about this height will do. It's about 65-70 millimetres and you'll need something sharp from the kitchen to open the box as it arrives. So let's get started. So your new Swifty Zero has just arrived. When you're using your cutting implement, I'm using a Stanley knife here. Be very careful, obviously, because you can hurt yourself. So cut away the strapping, remove, and let the excitement begin. And let's have a look inside. So you can see that the scooter is very well packed. We actually drop test these two meters. So if it's arrived and it's been damaged, I would be very surprised. But of course, make sure you take out all the parts uh, before you start assembling. Check for damage, check for scratches. Uh, if there's any problems, get in touch. On the front fork, uh, we do take them together. So you will need to trim away the tape before you take off the packaging. Okay, so there you have it. You've got your frame with the rear wheel already assembled on. You've got your front fork and you've got your handlebars. Pretty straightforward now how to do that. So let's go through the specifics. You also have your assembly guides which come in the bag. In there, we give you a set of tools. So first tool will be a spanner for your wheels so for taking the wheels on and off if you've already also bought a set of mud guards this you will need to remove the wheel um, and a set of allen keys as well in there also is the assembly guide which you won't need because now you're listening to me uh, but this is quite a comprehensive guide on how to assemble step by step i'm going to try and follow this guide as well so it kind of makes sense if you're reading along as well. And then on the back, all the important recommendations. So warranty, how to ride, etc., etc. Read all that please, and make sure you stay safe before scooting. The last bit of information is also the warranty card, which is really important because on there we want your feedback and it's also the way that you register your scooter and your warranty. It's really important that you've, you actually fill this out and send it back to us. The serial number is on the back of the head tube, which can be seen here. Um, so note that down on here and send it back into us. Right, let's get started. So the first thing I need you to do is to remove this uh, quick release uh, tie. So on there is the stem cap and the crown race underneath. So it is a zip tie. You can cut it with anything, a pair of scissors. I've not got a pair of scissors handy, so I'm gonna use this scalpel. Uh, so be very careful, obviously, when you do that. Once you take off the zip tie, you can see that the crown race, this plastic part here, and the stem cap is already assembled for you. So it goes back in that um, uh, order when you put the, the fork through. So remove those parts and put them to the side. So the next step is to cut this zip tie off. Again, be careful when you're using the cutting tool. I just use the scalpel to push down the zip tie and nip that off. That is designed to stop this spacer tube from going down to the bottom of the fork. If you take that off and push this down, it will get wedged. So if it, if it is wedged, then the trick to do is turn the whole fork upside down, take your book and then just give it a gentle tap and this will become free and come off. So get this, this spacer tube off the fork, you have to take the, uh, the cap off the end of the fork here. There is a rubber grommet in there that sometimes confu confuses people uh, because they don't see the nut underneath. You need the rubber nipple to stop water from going down the fork. So it's a bit of weatherproofing. Put those parts aside and then you can slide out the big spacer tube. So next we're gonna assemble the front fork onto the frame. Just pick the fork up and your frame and slide the two parts together. You don't have to worry about the bearings. They're all pressed in and sealed. So you don't have to worry. Um, First step is to put this black plastic ring on. Some people think that it's broken because it's got a split in it. It's designed to be split, don't worry. That allows it to expand inside and grip the bearings and make sure everything's nice and snug. 
once it's all assembled together, you shouldn't have any play in the um, steering at all, so it can't rock back and forth. If it is, then it means that you've done something wrong or not tightened something up. So next is to put the cap on. There is a little rubber O-ring in there, so if it's a bit tricky to get on, it just means that it's a nice snug fit. It's been a bit difficult for me. Just give it a little twist. Oh. There we go. Sometimes you can just nip the rubber and it gets a little bit trapped. So give it a little wiggle and it should work. Then the big spacer tube first, like that. Then the small spacer ring. And then finally your handlebars, which are again preset for you, pre-adjusted. You can, you can then uh, tune all this as you like later. Uh, and then the final bit is the, the, the top cap and the bolt. Put that back in. Tighten up with your Allen key. So this bolt is the compression bolt. So what it does is it pulls everything together. So I want you to get it to the point where it's tight and you feel resistance and then just give it a little, a little twist and then feel that the steering is still free and able to move. And that's all I want you to do for now. The next stage is to connect all of the brakes up to the uh, brake levers themselves. Get that set up. Then you've got to pump up the tires and adjust the steering and then you're ready to roll. So in the UK, the right hand side is the front brake and the left hand side is the rear brake. In Europe, it's the opposite way around. So let's do the brakes. To insert the end of the brake cable into the lever, you need to undo the quick release mechanism on the V brakes themselves. This curved part is called the noodle. You just push those together and this part will release out of there. To put it back in, you just do it like that. So it's very easy to undo. This is the little weather proofing boot which slides over so when you're putting it back together make sure you put that back on so undo this one and then this end will slide in and out really easily to insert the end of the brake cable into the lever you have to put it into the little hole at the back and then you can see that there's this slot here you have to then thread the cable through there and align the adjuster screws up so that that slot presents itself just like that once you've slotted it in push the end in and then this retaining screw here will basically stop that from moving in and out. This is a micro adjuster, so you can adjust the tension on your brakes a bit more or a bit less. There is a full video on our YouTube channel to explain how to adjust and tweak your brake settings. Now you're ready to put the noodle back in. Oh, look, it's pretty tough to do. If you are in a situation like this and that won't reach, it means you just need to undo the clamping screw here which will allow the cable to run so undo this one like that the cable will run a little bit free pull it back together put the little boot on and then undo this little wire which is here it's tucked in around the side in this case the, the spring is trapping it so pull that one out Put the spring back in. There's a little spring here that you can see that flicks around the back just to make the, the V-brake spring in and out. So come back again. I always adjust the, the adjuster screw at the top out a little bit. And then I pinch the V-brakes together, pull the slack, make sure everything is in the slots and then just tighten that back up. As I said, the brakes do come preset um, in assembly, but sometimes they just need a little tweaking. Give that a little bend. And as I say, there is a full video on our YouTube channel. Check that out for all the micro reduction. One little top tip is there is a little film on here which protects your beautiful badge. So at this stage, maybe you want to unpeel that. Some people like to keep this on, but it looks a lot nicer with it off. Okay, and then to do the rear brake, it's the same procedure. Undo the boot take out the noodle which will free the cable and then the cable at the other end slot in exactly the same way as we did before once you've connected go back down and reconnect the rear noodle with the brake slot it in push the boot on 
try your brakes out and you're ready to roll. Okay, so you've uh, assembled your front fork, you've done your brakes. The last bit is to adjust the steering so that is in line with the wheel. The best way to do this is to stand over your scooter and look at the wheel, grab the wheel with your two feet and then twist the handlebars to get them nice and straight. Once you've done that, uh, take your five millimeter Allen key. Remember we tightened the, uh, the top bolt here to make sure that everything was compressed. So there's no movement back and forth in the steering. Now that's all done. You're ready to tighten these two bolts, which are on the top of the stem. Just take your Allen key and nip those up nice and tight. A few turns like that. There we go. Pump up your tires to around 80 PSI um, and then that's it, you're ready to go. So thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for top tips and advice and stay safe out there and have fun.